Confirmation bias. Have you ever watched a movie trailer, decided you were going to love the film, and then ignored all the plot holes once you finally saw it? That's confirmation bias at work. Our brains adore being right so much that they filter out information contradicting our initial beliefs. We'll soak up articles, videos, and conversations that reinforce our opinion while casually and sometimes skillfully dismissing anything that suggests we might be wrong. It's like having a personal hype person inside our head, whispering, you're totally correct correct even when the evidence says otherwise. Availability heuristic. Imagine trying to guess how common shark attacks are right after you watch a scary documentary about sharks. Odds are you'll inflate the numbers even though the real threat is minuscule. That's the availability heuristic, our tendency to judge how likely something is based on how easily we can recall examples. The more recent or vivid a story is, the bigger place it gets in our mental spotlight. As a result, if we read a news article about a rare but dramatic event, we'll assume it happens more frequently. Meanwhile, we remain blissfully ignorant about less sensational risks that deserve our attention. Dunning-Kruger effect. This phenomenon is both hilarious and humbling. Those with little expertise in a field often overestimate their skills, while true experts can second-guess themselves. Picture a novice chef insisting they could run a Michelin star restaurant after mastering a single pancake recipe. That's Dunning-Kruger. People who know just enough to be dangerous about a topic don't see the bigger gaps in their knowledge. Meanwhile, more experienced folks see everything they don't know and worry they aren't as capable. It's an odd mind trick that leaves us all either too confident or too shy, depending on how much we truly grasp. Placebo effect. We've all heard the old take a sugar pill, feel better anyway story. And that's basically the placebo effect. Give someone a treatment with zero active ingredients, yet they might still show real improvements. At least subjectively, because they believe they've received genuine help. The mind, it turns out, is a skilled performer when it comes to healing illusions. But if you try to harness this effect by swallowing a jelly bean and calling it a magic cure, remember it's not a guarantee. The placebo effect can be powerful, but it's famously finicky and relying on it for a real medical crisis is like using a band-aid on a gaping wound. Gambler's fallacy. You've probably seen someone at the roulette table convinced a particular number is due to come up since it hasn't appeared in a while. That's the gambler's fallacy in action. We assume past events influence random future outcomes as though dice or slot machines keep moral score. If heads appears five times in a row, we're certain the next flip must be tails. In truth, each coin toss is independent and the universe doesn't owe us a balanced result. The gambler's fallacy has left many pockets empty, yet we still can't resist the cycle logical pull of believing we're on the verge of cosmic fairness. Selective attention. Picture a magic show. You're so captivated by the flashy hand movements that you miss the elephant quietly sneaking off stage. Our ability to focus is incredible, but we pay a price. Selective attention channels our awareness to one thing at a time, leaving us blind to everything else, even an elephant in the room. A well-known example is the invisible gorilla test, where people counting basketball passes often fail to notice someone in a gorilla suit ambling across the court. Our laser focus helps us keep track of tasks but also ensures we miss surprising sights and sneaky illusions. Misinformation effect. If you've ever argued with a friend about what happened on a road trip five years ago, only to discover your recollection differs wildly, you've tasted the misinformation effect. Memory is malleable, more like a wiki page than an unchangeable photograph. With each retelling or leading question, we can accidentally edit our own memories. Witness testimonies in particular can warp over time, especially if people are fed misleading details. It's a a great excuse next time you bungle a story though. You're not lying, your brain just decided to do some unauthorized editing of its personal highlight reel. Hindsight bias. Hindsight bias is that pesky mental nudge telling us we knew it all along once an outcome becomes obvious. The moment the underdog sports team wins, we confidently tell everyone that yep, we predicted it, but if they'd lost, we'd probably say we saw that coming too. In reality, we were clueless until it played out. Our minds love to retroactively rewrite our confidence in a prediction because admitting we were surprised is a little bruising to our ego so we simply conjure up a memory of being oh so wise from the start.
Negativity bias. Have you ever had 10 wonderful compliments and one rude comment, then spent the entire night stewing over the insult? Blame negativity bias. Our brains cling to negative experiences more strongly than positive ones. This survival trait once helped our ancestors stay alert for danger, but these days it often turns social media spats into epic mental battles. Even though most daily encounters are neutral or pleasant, a single bad review or argument can overshadow an entire day of sunshine. Recognizing negativity bias is the first step to shaking it off, unless you secretly enjoy doom scrolling, in which case, carry on. Imposter Syndrome at some point, many high achievers get the sinking feeling they're frauds who lucked into their success. No matter how many diplomas, praise, or promotions they earn, they worry someone will finally unmask them as incompetent. This phenomenon is imposter syndrome, the sneaky cousin of self-doubt. It doesn't discriminate. Famous artists, scientists, and entrepreneurs have all confessed to feeling like they're fooling everyone. Ironically, the more accomplished you are, the easier it is to assume everyone else must be better. The trick is realizing many people share this secret fear, so maybe you are as legit as they come. Self-serving bias. When good things happen, we're quick to credit our skills. When bad things happen, well that's gotta be bad luck or sabotage. This mental balancing act is known as the self-serving bias. It's basically the mind's way of preserving self-esteem by shifting blame and hogging credit. Deliver a successful project at work, that's because you're brilliant, obviously. Miss a deadline, your manager didn't provide enough info, or Mercury was in retrograde. Anything but your own oversight. It helps keep our confidence afloat, but it can also also prevent honest self-reflection. Sometimes it's healthier just to own the mistake. Spotlight Effect Ever walked into a room and felt certain everyone was staring at your slightly mismatched socks? That's the spotlight effect, the exaggerated belief that others notice all our quirks and slip-ups. Reality check. Most people are too busy worrying about their own mismatched socks to scrutinize yours so you can relax and rock that accidental fashion statement. Anchoring Effect Maybe you've tried negotiating for a car and heard the salesperson's first price. Suddenly, that number becomes your yardstick, even if it's way off. That's anchoring. Our tendency to rely too heavily on the first piece of information we receive. Once an initial figure or idea lodges in our mind, everything else gets measured against it, making it tough to see beyond that starting point. Framing effect. Picture being told a medical procedure has a 90% survival rate versus a 10% death rate. It's the same statistic, but the framing effect ensures most of us feel more positive about the first version. We often react not to raw facts, but to how they're presented. Labels like 95% fat free versus 5% fat can sway decisions big time, even though they're identical in meaning. Illusory correlation. Sometimes we link two unrelated events, like wearing a lucky jersey and seeing our favorite team win, then assume one caused the other. This is illusory correlation, a mental quirk that forms false associations. The jersey might keep you cozy, but it probably isn't coaching the team. Still, it's comforting to pretend we wield cosmic influence with wardrobe choices. Introspection, illusion. We love to think we know exactly why we act the way we do. Unfortunately, our self-analysis isn't always reliable. Sometimes we craft neatly packaged reasons after the fact, ignoring unconscious influences. So the next time you insist you just had a gut feeling, remember that your gut may be borrowing notes from deeper, unseen processes in your brain. Optimism bias. This is the bright-eyed cousin of negativity bias, persuading us that bad things always happen to other people. We say, it won't be my car that gets towed, right before we find a hefty ticket on the windshield. Optimism bias can be a sweet, motivational cheerleader, but it sometimes blindsides us when reality doesn't match that sunny forecast. Bias blind spot. Ironically, we're quick to spot biases in other people's thinking. My coworker is so gullible, yet remain convinced we're immune. That's the bias blind spot. We recognize everyone else's illusions, but assume we see things objectively. As you can guess, the fact that you're reading about it doesn't mean you're off the hook. It just means you might catch yourself mid-bias once in a while.